Hello, Mark Crossfield here, more golf swings coming at you from my golf app. This guy's bought the app, hit the button at the bottom and has sent in his golf swing for some tips. So let's see if we can help him hit some better shots. Maybe understand where his club path comes from. He definitely looks like he is someone who is swinging to the left. So what you guys would call out to him. Um, let's give him a few ideas to see if we can help him improve that and maybe change the ball flight. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, swing, sent through the app, thanks for buying, thanks for sending. Um, pretty good back swing, coming down into the ball. He looks very keen on rotating hard, right knee going forward, left knee going back, pulling that club to the left as he hits the ball. His face when he hits the ball looks like it's pointing left of target, so what lots of you would call closed, but it looks very much open to his path. So what I mean by that, is his face, if this is the target line, the white line looks like it's left of that, but his path is left of his face. So his face is open to his path, his face is right of the path of the club, left of the target, stay with me, um, which then encourages a more left to right ball flight. So really, where lots of golfers would think if you slice the ball, fade the ball, cut the ball, you need to be rolling your wrists and twisting the club around and all these kind of things, which I would argue you don't really need to be trying to do. His face is in not a bad position. In fact, his face arguably could be pointing more to the right, so more open. What he needs to do is work on ways of getting his path right of his face, and then he would start seeing the ball curve the other way. Now, for this guy, he is simply twisting the hoop to the left. So he is simply twisting his path to the left and the easiest way for me to twist my path to the left is to kind of step back and turn around so it's not very easy for me to turn to the left because that's quite a contorted body position it's easier for me to step back so behind the ball and then almost turn and face it and then that swings to the left so i'm not swinging steeper my vertical swing plane this angle here is staying the same i'm just turning everything to the left and the way he does that as he makes not a bad backswing action, but then as he comes down and hit the ball, he's got no interest really in going forwards, so forwards as in towards the target, going through, which might keep pushing the hoop, push, pushing the path out towards the target, and even slightly to the right. What he wants to do is lean on this back foot and rotate. So what happens is I want to lean back, rotate and face the ball a bit more, and that turns that path way off to the left trying to control his club face, which lots of people think they might need to do. I'm not saying he does, but lots of people always think that when they slice it. It's not the answer. You've got to be able to move the path and keep that face almost where it is because it's not far off where it needs to be. So we need you thinking about a downswing, which is so much more across, so to the left, before you start turning into the ball. Downswing is very much just straight turn, and almost lean back and turn. You can see him just follow through how far back he looks like he's leaning. I want you, and I do this with lots of golfers, um, and it's a hard one for them to get their heads in because everyone's been told to open up their hips and turn and la di da da for so many years. Uh, I want you to hit some balls where you feel like you stay square on. So stay facing this wall in front of you and throw the club at the ball. So just feel like you stay square on and hit some shots. Watch where the ball starts. I bet you'll find it starts out to the right and for lots of people it actually instantly starts coming back to the left because they simply move their path instantly with a different rotation to the right of their face. So what you can do is you can go stay square onto that wall but try and go as side onto it as you can as possible. So I've tried to stay square on but I've moved straight across. It's just a drill, you're not going to play golf like this, just to get the feeling of moving that path in a different direction. Again. It's more the conversation of persuading people to do this than when they do it, they see the instant rewards. They're happy to carry on doing it. So what I would again get you doing is feeling that feeling as you hit the ball and then just pull out of it. And then come out into your follow through. And you'll see as I piece that together, it doesn't look as extreme as when I did it just staying side on, which then makes them feel a bit more like they're making a proper functional golf swing that they can play with. Also, what you'll find by me asking you to stay square on and sliding across, you're not actually hitting that position. You are opening up still. So we want some degree of opening up, but we need you across onto your left side, bump to the left before that opening begins. If you just start by turning your body, twisting it, you're just turning that hoop, mouse to the left, path goes to the left. 
Now, if you want to hit target, the face has to be open to that path, and you're going to have to live with cutting it back onto target. Thanks for sending the swing. Hope that helps. Give me a comment, post down below. Love to hear. Um, tried this or not? I've done this in quite a few videos, so lots of people have heard this one by now. Um, it'll be interesting to see how you get on with it. I'd love to hear. Speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here, more Golf Swings coming at you from my golf app. This guy's bought the app, hit the button at the bottom and has sent in his golf swing for some tips. So let's see if we can help him hit some better shots. Maybe understand where his club path comes from. He definitely looks like he is someone who is swinging to the left. So what you guys would call out to him. Um, let's give him a few ideas to see if we can help him improve that and maybe change the ball flight. Let's get stuck in. All right guys, swing, sent through the app, thanks for buying, thanks for sending. Um, pretty good backswing, coming down into the ball. He looks very keen on rotating hard, right knee going forward, left knee going back, pulling that club to the left as he hits the ball. His face when he hits the ball looks like it's pointing left of target, so what lots of you would call closed, but it looks very much open to his path. So what I mean by that, is his face, if this is the target line, the white line looks like it's left of that, but his path is left of his face. So his face is open to his path. His face is right of the path of the club, left of the target, 